the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Ladies and gentlemen, to know Bursa, those complaining about budget padding don't know arithmetic. Moving on, we have Ladies and gentlemen, to know Bursa, he will not allow anyone undermine his security. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back updates and information. As it is hot, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn notification bell so that anytime we drop our news, now you will be the first to watch them. My people, know this one matter they happen for this country. Ladies and gentlemen, to know Bursa, say that those making claim of the 2024 budget be padded do not know arithmetic president bolabe tinubu reacted to senator abdul nengi's claim of the 24 budget being padded to the tune of 3.7 trillion while hosting the leadership of the senate to break the drama down fast at the presidential villa apuja on friday he noted that integrity of the national assembly must remain intact that his administration will always encourage cooperation with the national assembly for the advancement of the country that he know the arithmetic of the budget and the numbers that he brought to the National Assembly. And he know what numbers came back. So he appreciates all of them for the expenditures handling of the budget. So those who are talking about malicious embezzlement in the budget did not under understand the arithmetic. And they did not refer to the baseline of what he brought. But his integrity is intact and he's grateful for what he has been doing. That the natural challenges he is facing will be over. So he is about turning the corner and our revenue has improved that all he has to do is to control the expenditure and manage themselves better that on the recent clean of the soldier in data states he insisted that the killers would face the full wrath of the law that our armed forces are working hard and they will not allow attackers to undermine the integrity and value of our army force and their leadership so he will continue to encourage and fight for our sovereignty he said very soon our individual rights will exist and he will succeed in banishing poverty from the land of Nigeria. My people don't be small matter now the masses they ask President Bolamin to know So since he knows arithmetic that he did not calculate well before throwing Nigeria into calamity. <laughs> that which means he knows what he's doing. But I want to ask, the arithmetic President Bolamin Tunubu is talking about, is it the same arithmetic they use for electoral processes? Because <laughs> We are not really seeing what is going on. This regime has always been bad to us. I feel the arithmetic they are talking about is arithmetic of corruption. <laughs> because we don't understand again. You guys padded a budget of 3.7 trillion and somebody came around to tell you guys that that wasn't passed in the National Assembly. And now President Bola Metunubu is coming out to tell the masses what Abadio did that the 3.7 trillion that was padded in the 2024 budget was as a result of that they don't know arithmetic. <laughs> what Neji is saying is the truth. Had he mean Neji was not right, he wouldn't have resigned. And now President Bola Metunubu is telling us that he knows the arithmetic of the budget and the numbers that he brought to the National Assembly. And he also knows the number that was brought back to him. So he appreciates all of them for the expenditures handling of the budget. Hey, <laughs> my people, this country, this APC regime just came to wreck us. They came to wreck our common words. Just imagine. Only people have seen reasons why they should look into that budget. Now President Bola Metunubu is coming out to tell them that they don't know arithmetic of the budget. Really? <laughs> My people don't get it. Where we don't go see for this country. Now, like this, they want to banish the poverty where he promised the land. Just imagine kidnapping is going on in the northwest. Bandit has killed hundreds of armed forces. And yet, he don't want to do anything about the insecurity in the country. Okay, because this stuff are happening in Delta, look at what happened in Delta last week. He wants to display the security apparatus. Whereas our security has been undermined in Sambisa Forest for years now. Honestly, our democracy is improving the citizens. Most citizens are daily falling below the poverty line. And many are trapped into multidimensional poverty. Our democracy is not creating hope on the horizon follow timmy youth who cannot even go to school and those who manage to go through school cannot find a job our democracy is losing its meaning losing its value they are losing its luster our democracy is stripping us off our dignity of our honor and of our humanity there is an urgent need to restore our confidence in democracy before we lose our senses once we get to the point where we lose our senses that will be the end of anything sensible, <laughs> hey, honestly. In order for them to freeze all phones that has been suspected until a thorough investigation is done.
It's a matter of urgency. They should put a stop to all the wastage of our scarce resources. I mean, the excruciating hardship in the country. Let every penny of our public fund be used for public good. That is the only way to achieve the new Nigeria we are working towards. This present regime should do well. They should channel the detailed work of this fund into the critical areas of development, most especially education, health, pulling people out of poverty, which will in turn you know, minimize the criminality we are facing today. Today in Nigeria, the greatest challenge to human resources development is education, which has been identified as the most critical at the basic level. These resources would have been utilized to ensure that our children are taken off the street. President Bola Metinobu said that he knew the arithmetic of the numbers that he brought to the Senate when he presented the 2024 budget and also he knew what he got back. And he assured Nigeria that the current security and economic challenges facing the country will soon be a thing of past. He's confident that the nation would summon you know, her challenges. In a related development, the National Economic Council rose from 140 monthly with a revelation that all the 36 states of the Federation and Capital Territory own the federal government a total of 1.7 trillion from budget support facility extended to them during the admission of former President Mohamed Buhari. So, speaking on the special issue with the President of the Senate, Gosula Kwabi, and other Senate of the House, the President addressed the lingering allegation of budget pardon for the first time since the news became topical. He appreciated the Senate for the work, particularly the message of the student loan bill. The President told the leadership of the Senate that the integrity of the National Assembly must remain intact and that is his administration would also remain intact. So he encouraged their cooperation for the advancement of the nation. That he knew that the arithmetic of the budget and the numbers that he brought of the National Assembly is correct. <laughs> My people, there are those of them you know, talking about the malicious embellishment in the budget that they do not understand the arithmetic. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate it. But if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to the notification bell to get notified when there's a drop our video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you so much for staying to us. To all our viewers, thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like on your way next. Stay safe, guys. Bye.